Um, recently I bought a Nintendo Switch because the robotics students that I work with at my local high school have them and it seemed like a fun thing to have so I bought it, got it on Amazon and then it came in and when it did um, the portability was pretty good but I noticed that if I wanted to take my Joy-Con grip with me it would take up a lot of space and it wasn't very portable so I saw a video online and I decided it was a good idea to try to do the modification that they did so I bought the things I needed and here's the process so to modify the Joy-Con grip first thing you need to do is remove the Joy-Cons and then you need to get the screwdriver set which has the special tri-wing screwdriver and you have to disassemble the Joy-Con. Pretty easy it's just a bunch of screws so there's four screws on the front right here and then on the back side there's four more over here and then after that there'll be some more You want to make sure to use downward force so that you don't strip the top of the screws. So once you've taken apart the four screws, the top plate will come off of the centerpiece. And then there's two more little screws right in here that are between these clear pieces. And then at this point, to not lose these clear plastic pieces that are used to transfer the light from the inside of the Joy-Con to the little holes that are over here, I put them off to the side, so they're just right here. And that way when I flip it over, I don't accidentally lose any parts. So now you can pry the Joy-Con apart, the, the grip, take it apart carefully, pops right apart. Then these last four screws, these are the ones that are using Phillips instead of the Tri-Wing. So you have to switch over to the other screwdriver, that's why it's in the set. Now these last four screws are going to be the ones that are going to stay off permanently. So they're going to get replaced with the uh, crazy glue and the magnets. So if you see here, the heads on them are wider than all the rest of them. But these are the ones you're not going to be using anymore. So that's the disassembly part. For the reassembly, you need to get some magnets. They're 10 millimeter magnets. They're neodymiums, the special rare earth magnets that are really strong and really tiny. 
So I got these from Amazon. Um, they're Electfine magnet. They worked well. They're the right size. Uh, it came with a hundred pack. So I've actually been using this on the students in my robotics club um, on their Joy-Con uh, grips in order to do the same mod for them. But it comes in a stack of a hundred. Comes in a nice tin. So there's a hundred magnets. Um, I have less by now. But it's a nice tin. It's protected so that you don't break the magnets if they drop. Um, you're going to need to start with just one magnet and put the rest to the side and you get your crazy glue which this did not come in the tin I just keep it there the crazy glue and you need to put a dot in the center of those four holes of crazy glue and then you're going to put one magnet on there so just a little bit of glue And try not to stick your finger there. But just put it right in the center. Give it a little bit of time to set because that one's going to be the magnet that will align the other magnet that's going to go on this piece when we flip this over. So now I'm going to flip this part over. And then the square that's here will match the square that's in here. It's recessed, and this one pops out, and together that's what keeps this lined up. So you want to put it together when you put the other uh, magnet on the part that's going to be your travel grip, if you want to call it that. So once again, one more magnet, same size. Um, one more drop of crazy glue. I'm going to make this one more of like a line. So that way I don't have to worry about lining it up. The magnets will pull together. So as long as you get it close, you can let it go. It'll pop into place and it's exactly where it needs to be. Give it a little bit of time for it to dry out. And the best thing to do is try to see how many of these little magnets you can fit. If you're using the ones that I got, I believe it's three magnets total. So I'm going to add two more to what's already there. So once again, you just get close and it'll snap into place for you. You can hold it and see if you could fit one more in there, if it'll fit above those rails. So it looks like I can get one more in. I'm going to go for four total. Flip this back over. And I know that on this side, I can only put one more additional magnet to help increase how strong it pulls. So I have two magnets here. And if you can see when I put it up, it's just barely flush. And then on the other side, I have four. And that keeps it flush with those rails. And that's what's going to allow you to pull it apart, put it back together. So now we're going to reassemble. To reassemble, we're not going to need the regular screwdriver anymore. We're only going to use the tri-wing screwdriver. So we only need this one. And then these little clear pieces we need to put those back where they were so the side that has teeth is going to be what goes into the little openings on the control grip both sides are the same way plastics point towards the inside so like that one more tool that is helpful is the uh, pair of um, snips. <clears throat> Sometimes, depending on where the magnets glue in, um, this little piece will get in the way. So just to avoid it, I like to cut it off. I cut it right on the edge. 
and then I can fold it, fold it back, and I can remove it. Now it's flat, doesn't get in the way of the magnets. I can reassemble this top plate. So you have to do a little wiggling sometimes. Doesn't always want to go in directly because of those clear plastic pieces, but this time it did. So that's going to be how it's going to look. We just need to put the screws back into it. Sometimes you have to fight against the magnets that are in there that are for the Joy-Con to stay together. The actual mod piece. I got that one in. There, not over tightened. And this one, actually drop it into the hole. Get it started, maybe. Nope. Okay. There you have it. Mod complete. So now I can get this, put it on there if I want it, use it like a standard Joy-Con grip, put these in place, use it, no problem. Let me take it off. Use these as little baby Joy-Con grips. I can also take just this piece with me, slide this into place, use it as a controller, and it's easier to hold than the little small grips, but it's more portable than when I have it assembled like this.